Hi, part 11. Fetau. F E I T O U. 333. One. Have you ever played Skull Tag Online? If you did it, what's your nickname there? The only times I've played Skull Tag Online were with one or two friends, one of which is a very special person. Or with a friend and a certain special somebody, a Swerton. But other than that, I don't really play it online. I only play it with certain people, or certain somebody, or certain one or two. Depends. But now, as far as I know, I don't have a nickname. I don't even remember what name I used in game or anything, so you probably wouldn't be able to find me, because if I'm ever on there, I might. I'm in a private game or something. Private? What's going on there with the imps and the hell knights? Oh, God. Two, aren't you interested? Aren't you interested in having an artist, a beginner, doing some random stuff for your games? I'm not quite sure what you mean by random stuff for my games. I'm also not quite sure what an artist would do. What, like a start screen or something? Or, what? Well, fan art's always cool and stuff. I'm still not quite sure what you mean or how an artist would help with my videos. But yeah, I'd probably like it. As long as I don't have to pay the artist. I'm hungry for some artist. Wait, are you saying you're an artist? I'm hungry. What? Anyway. Or do you mean music artist? Because I just looked at your page and you've got some music favorited of um, guitar lessons. Well, still, I'm not quite sure what I'd have a use for one for. But it would be cool. Next person. Villy91. Oh, wait, no, it's not a question. Next person. Sweet56. Sweet560H. One, have you ever been to bluewaffle.net? It's got cool stuff about video games. Well, I've just been there, and no, it hasn't got cool stuff about video games. It's got a weird picture. Luckily, I'm not the kind of person who gets really affected by those and ends up puking everywhere. It's kind of weird, though. Two, what would be a good name for a video game of Lost? Well, there's Lost via Domus. I think that's probably a better name than I could ever come up with. How about Lost, the video game that's actually good? Or Lost, the post series game that answers all of the unanswered questions or lost the adventures of hurley or lost on an island called the lost island i don't really know though they're the only ones i can think of anyway next person extreme gaming yum or extreme gaming yum in capitals one are you gonna play bioshock 2 oh long yum. this is like the new fallout 3 except in this case i actually want to do it I plan to do it whenever I eventually get it, but I don't know whenever I'm eventually going to get it. Or, I don't know when I'm going to get it. I'm not in any rush at the moment. I'd probably have it if I could, like, safely afford it. I just don't have a constant income at the moment. But yeah, if and when I have it, I plan to do it. Two, do you like cheese? I love cheese. Especially moon cheese. And foot cheese, no. But yeah, cheese is the yum. Kind of got to lay off the cheese a bit, though. It's not good for you in large doses, I think. Next person. The Gamer God 2. Hey Paul, are you ever going to play Alan Wake? Well, I've been very interested in that game, but it's an Xbox 360 exclusive. <laughs> Whose stupid idea was that? So no, I don't think I'm ever going to play it, because I don't want any Xboxes. Next person. Okay, oh wait. Oh, I answered it in a comment, but I feel like answering it anyway. K54G. Yeah, him again. He's already answered something. Er He's already asked something earlier. But would you do Shell Shock 2? Since you already asked questions, I'll just answer in text, even though I'm answering your voice as well. I've looked at some gameplay of Shell Shock 2, and it doesn't quite look like my kind of game, though. Kind of looks like a war themed area type of thing. I don't know. But nah. Next person. Neil SA911CCC. What the fuck? Whoa, Moldy. Who? Wait, one. There is only one. Ah! Who is Wyatt? Wyatt is an awesome person. Yeah. Next person! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? What was that? The Grudge Girl. How? Oh. Anyway, Obelist. 
In one of your other Q&As, you got asked many times what your favourite game was, and you said it was a toss-up between Doom 1 and Final Fantasy 8. So my question is, what is it that you like about Final Fantasy 8 over Final Fantasy 7? Just wondering, don't want to get into a heated argument over which is better, I like them both. You don't want a heated argument? Well, we're going to have a heated argument, because it's quite hot today, because it's summer. Anyway, I don't know really. I've never quite understood my love for Final Fantasy VIII. Because I'm not a fan of, like, futuristic stuff, but I think Final Fantasy VIII just does it well. And I've been watching a playthrough of Final Fantasy VIII recently with commentary, and the person is pointing out a lot of good points about, like, why it's not that great. There's a lot of unexplained stuff and things that just happen. And to be honest, I'm starting to kind of think it's not that great a game, a Final Fantasy game anyway. But I don't know, it's just something about it that I love it. It's weird. I like the battle system for some reason, and I actually like the junctioning system, despite its complications. I like all the GFs and how they can learn stuff. But it is a very different game though. You can't even buy weapons and armor. You can't even get armor. It's just weapons. I kinda like the magic system, not like not having MP but just drawing spells, even though it feels like a huge waste of time when you sit there in a battle just drawing spells from enemies for an hour. Not an hour! Takes a while though. But yeah, I don't really know how to answer that. It's just, it's been a weird thing that I've never been able to answer properly, even to myself. Ah. Next person, Crazy Four Games. The number four. One, do you prefer Crash Bandicoot or Spyro? Oh, easily Spyro. Crash Bandicoot isn't even sexy. Oh, stop it. No, don't. Although, to be honest, I'm... I think... Maybe... Crash Bandicoot 2... Like... If we're... We're counting all Crash games and all Spyro games here. In order of favourite first, I think I'd probably say Crash 2, Spyro 2, Spyro 1. I like Spyro better as a character, obviously. But for some reason, Crash Bandicoot 2 is just a very, very awesome game to me. Well, so are the Spyro games, but Crash Bandicoot 2 was like my first ever PlayStation 1 game, and I've always loved it. Yeah. 2. Have you ever played Guitar Hero? Nah, I'm not into music games like that. Mainly because I have no rhythm. What? Or something like Stop saying what? Something like that. I've never been good at music games. I don't like dance, Matt. I don't like things like rock band and stuff like that. It doesn't really interest me either. Probably mainly because it hasn't got any music that I like. Or maybe it has. I don't know. Anyway. Next person. Liu Kang. 1378. If you had to meet your favourite video game character, who would it be? Oh, who sees this coming? Spyro! Spyro. Even though in real life he might be a bit of a dick. No, he wouldn't! But, you know, just because he's a dragon, and I want to hug him. I'm a big reptile fanatic, basically. Yeah. Next person. Da Whoopass. One, would you ever have a Xbox? An Xbox? No, I'm not interested in Xbox. There's not really any games on them that I know of that I want that I can't get on other consoles anyway. And I'm not an Xbox fan in general, so... Two, and would you ever do a video with all the easter eggs in games you've played? I'd like to do something like that, but it would be too much work for me. Not that I wouldn't like playing through the games again, but sometimes when I think of, like, playing through a game just to record all the secrets, I think... Well, if I'm just playing through the game just to do that, it feels kind of pointless. There's countless other videos on YouTube that will show all the easter eggs and stuff. But it's not really something I'd want to invest so much time in and stuff. Next person. Ten Titans Fan 1029. Why are there three questions? Oh, I see why. One. Who would you rather have as your best friend, Spyro or an imp from Doom 3? Definitely Spyro. Imps from Doom 3 are ugly. Ugly de pugly. Imps from Doom 3 are just cool, like the way they move and stuff and the sounds they make. But Spyro is just awesome all over. I mean, who wouldn't want a dragon as a friend? Rather than an ugly, mouldy looking ten-eyed thing with no lips and a weird head. Imps don't even have a tail. 2. Do you ever plan on doing Borderlands? I have Borderlands and I've played Borderlands and it's cool, but it's like a... I don't think I'd enjoy Borderlands unless I was playing multiplayer which I was with someone. Also, it's RPG-ish. There's a lot of exploring and travelling, so just one of those I wouldn't record. It's cool, though. 
Three, are you ever gonna do Fallout 3? No, 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 just kidding, lol. Yeah, you better be just kidding. Oh, rough. Oh. Whoa! Next person. Piece of cake gaming. How do you get WADs from Doom 1? If you mean all the WADs that I've recorded and stuff, some of them were sent by fans and, like, people on YouTube here. Some were downloaded, but not many. But most of them, the majority of them, came from the Maximum Doom collection, which was, um, included on the original CD of Master Levels for Doom 2. I don't know where you could get them today, I think that's probably the only place you can get them, but yeah. Back when I bought the original Doom Trilogy, well, I didn't buy it, but my parents did for me. It was on the CD with Master Levels for Doom 2. Like, 1800 wads, yum! I'm not even kidding, there's that many. Okay, that's the end of this part. Um, yeah, tune in next time. There's only two questions left, but I'm sure they'll build up.